Yesterday I was looking at Bajaj Finance and thought damn this stock's going to go up so I obviously bought a call option the next day the market did go up showing what a genius I am but the call option nothing happened in fact it went down this means simply saying buying a call options market go up i'll make money or buying a put options market go down i'll make money simply is not true there are a bunch of other things that dictate when and how much an option price will move and in this video i will ensure that you become a master in this and understand how and when an option price will move we need to understand these boys our option greeks but but but, but don't get started now we need you to hit that like and that subscribe button all these people over here are watching but not subscribing don't be one of them hum bahut mehnat karte hain with all of this and we genuinely love teaching can you hit that subscribe button please okay let's begin so the first step So the most important Greek is this delta, and we're going to start with this. I'm going to keep this very, very simple. See, all you want to know is if Nifty, Nifty moves up by hundred points, how much will your call option move? So I'll say call Nifty, right? So we assume that it'll actually move up hundred points as well. This is not true. If Nifty moves up by hundred points, will the call option move by another hundred points? Actually, no, it won't. The way that this is done, and I'll remove this hundred, is called delta. Let's suppose the delta is calculated at zero point five. Don't worry how I got this number. You can simply put it inside a calculator on any of these websites, and you can know the delta of any call or put option. In this case, we got zero point five. Again, don't worry about how this is calculated. Understand the theory. So point five means if Nifty moves up by hundred. Call options will move by 0.5. So 100 times 0.5 is, guys, you want to answer it? 50. 50. That's right. So 50 rupees is how much the call option will actually move. That's all delta is telling you. Delta basically means the difference between. So if Nifty moves up by X, your delta is 0.5. Call option will move up by 50. Now the option delta actually depends on the strike price. So I just want to explain how strike price plays an importance. in all of this so let's think of nifty nifty let's suppose is trading at 100 rupees now i know nifty does not trade at 100 but bear with me and the current strike price over here if i buy a call option um this is called at the money why is it called at the money because it's actually at the money the strike price and the current market price is the same now generally over here the delta is 0.5 generally then Let's say we have another strike price over here and this will be in the money. Why is it in the money? Because it can actually get exercised. The option buyer has the right to buy Nifty at this price when the current price is higher, so it's in the money. Here, because we know that there is some value, the delta is close to 1. Now, there are other things like expiry time etc playing in so i won't give an actual number here it could be 0.8 0.9 etc but it's closer towards 1 and then finally we have price that's not happened yet but of course a strike price exists so let's suppose the strike price is here and this will be obviously out of the money why because you're buying a call option for the right to buy above the current market price so it's out of the money and the delta for this because it's uncertain we don't know whether markets will go up or not is going to be less than 0.5 that's it so at the money it's going to be 0.5 in the money is going to be closer to 1 out of the money is going to be less than 0.5 it could be 0.1 it could be 0.2 but less than half the reason i didn't tell you how delta is calculated is because you can go to any of these websites I'll open one and I'll add an at the money call option. Now it doesn't matter what the underlying is. Notice this. Look at the delta. It's near 0.5. Now if I add an out of the money uh, call option, you can see that the delta is less than 0.5. And then of course I'll delete all of this and add a fresh in the money option and you can see that the delta is closer to 1. Avid look we showed your software over here in the comments right? You love learn app. Good job. Moving on. So we were talking about calls where the delta is always positive. If you add a say a put in any of this, everything becomes minus, right? So this becomes a minus zero point 
5, this becomes 0 0.5 over here, and this minus, and then this becomes, sorry, and this becomes closer to minus 1. So everything else remains the same. Delta is closer to minus 1. Delta is 0 0.5. Delta is less than 0 0.5 for puts. It just reverses. The beauty about options is you don't need to trade just a direction. That's just for plain old futures. In options, you can actually trade direction, you can trade time, you can also trade the sidewaysness. I know that's not a word of the market. If the market stays sideways, you make money. If the market doesn't do anything for a long time, you make money, etc. Now, you can also bet on volatility. You can say that I think there'll be a lot of speculation in the market and make money from that. So all of these things and options requires you to estimate what is the maximum profit and what is the maximum loss. Now, to know that where you're buying puts, selling puts, buying calls, selling calls, you will need to understand delta, which will tell you how much profit you'll make in X situation and how much loss you'll make in Y situation. So you need to understand all the Greeks, but especially delta. So let's understand how delta works. So we've talked about delta. Now let's talk about gamma. Gamma is the rate of change of delta. Now, when you think I've bought this call option, my delta is 0.5, I'll simply calculate. It's not true. When you've bought an at the money call, but price now goes really up, it's now become in the money. So as that's changing, the delta will also change. So it'll be curious and interesting to know how much will my delta change? And for that, we have gamma. And when you're long options, you're actually long gamma. You want the price to move up really, really quickly when you've bought a call option. So let's suppose our at the money, when we bought this, the gamma is 0 0.07. So now I know when the price actually moves up by 100 points, the new delta is going to be 0 0.57. Now this is really useful because as price is moving, it's dynamic. Your at the money option is now actually in the money and you want to know how much your call option actually changed in price. So the gamma basically tells you that. Now price is dynamic and I know that my delta is 0.5. So if Nifty moves up by 100 points, my call option will move up by 50 points. But as price is moving, your call option is now gone from at the money to say in the money. If price goes actually up here, your at the money will become in the money. So your delta won't be 0.5, it'll be something else. Now the question is, what will it be? What will the delta be if price went here? That's what gamma will tell you. Over here, we can see that gamma is 0.07. So when price moves up by 100, we know that your new delta when price is here is going to be 0.57. Gamma basically measures the rate of change of delta. So as you can imagine, the option price will actually accelerate if the price moves up really quickly, right? Because now it won't move at, at 0.5, it will move up at 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. And option buyers are long gamma, but option sellers are actually short gamma. They think this quick rate of change will not happen. So if you're an option seller, you don't want gamma to actually increase, you don't want price to go up because you will lose money. And then we have expiry. Now, the way an option is actually priced, it contains all of this. There is intrinsic value, which is high and in the money options, low and out of the money options. There is time, which is theta. There is also gamma over here. Basically on expiry day, something happens called a gamma burst, where a one rupee call option can become 40, 50 rupees because there is a sudden spike in prices. People are closing their positions, there are hedge positions. And for whatever reason, there is volatility during expiry on that day, especially from long-term investors and people closing their positions in the short term. Because of this, since prices move up, gamma burst happens. And the price of that call option moves rapidly up or down. And you must have seen ads like this, where people say, double your money, 10x your money. If the price is going up, you'll become very moneylicious. And you will think that you've gone from zero to hero. But my advice for you is, you will not become zero to hero, you'll just become zero. So please don't trade on just gamma burst until you, unless you actually have a strategy. And according to me, you shouldn't do it, but just understand what this phenomena is. Now that you know what delta and gamma is, I have a question for you that you have to answer in the comments. What is delta neutral? Thoda soch ke batao. Don't give wrong answer. Basti mat karna in front of YouTube community. 
if you thought this was interesting, there are two more Greeks left. We can continue the series and I can teach you about that. And then we can eventually talk about option strategies, how they work, the goods, the bad, the risks, and so much more. If you liked it, put something in the comments, hit that subscribe and like button and see you in the next video. And don't forget to see the blooper reel next. So yesterday I was trying to buy Bajaj Finance, but instead I forgot what I'm gonna say. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. No, no, come on. And as you are... Pfft. Okay, come on. Come on. As your price moves from one 